and greetings everyone for this time i'm testing a multiplayer game called stalcraft x i think so let's get to the settings and there are a lot of them so starting from field of view i use default 90 and there are a bunch of other options in this section most of them are default and i don't think they really affect the performance for the most part now going to the graphics tab you can see that I used MSA 4X as always. I disabled FXA because it's just blurry and not great anti-aliasing. And everything else to my knowledge is completely maxed out. And finally in the performance tab, the game allows maximum of 300 FPS. I disabled dynamic FPS limits and VSync as well. And the rest are I think default but should help in the performance with optimizations such as multi-threaded resource loading. Now as I mentioned before this game is multiplayer but you can still play it in single player or alone and you will still see other players running around. I'm not entirely sure how PvP works in this game. It seems to be it's free for all but yeah, again, I haven't played this game much and that would require some playtesting. So there is a base which is safe for everyone. You can upgrade your weapons, I think get missions and it just basically serves as a hub. And once you sort everything out, you get your quest, you go for exploration in open world. And in there I think you can play PvP or do your quests. Now despite simplistic design of characters and a little bit of the map because it reminds me a little bit of Minecraft or recently released game Battlebit Remastered I think which I also tested on my channel. And yeah with simplistic design it still is very demanding. And I noticed that it has some stuttering issues. So if you want smooth gameplay, you pretty much have to lock your FPS. It is available in the menu. And in order to check what value you should lock to, just see your frame rate and uh, lock your FPS a little bit below that. So for example, if I get 85 FPS on average, you can try locking your FPS to maybe 75 or 80 around that area. Also another interesting thing that I found is this game apparently running on OpenGL and I don't remember any recent games which primarily run or almost exclusively run on OpenGL. Usually you can choose between DirectX 11, maybe 12, maybe OpenGL but this one seems to be exclusively OpenGL so if your GPU does not support it well it might be a little bit of an issue for example I think AMD GPUs can have a little bit trouble with that but again I haven't tested myself and I haven't checked it so maybe they're fine I don't know but yeah for most people OpenGL is not really ideal as well as it seems this game is also very single CPU thread bound. So for example if you have maybe older system with Ryzen, maybe Ryzen 1, it might be a little bit of stuttery mess as well. But yeah, I think I generally recommend locking your FPS in this game to avoid those stutters because even I get those so yeah, your mileage may vary. And yeah, I haven't mentioned it, but this game is also free. So feel free to try it out and check out for yourself in the performance uh, if you like the game at all. And I think it heavily relies on Stalker franchise and its lore so I'm not entirely sure about that because I haven't played it yet but I will at some point and I will test it at some point as well but currently I'm playing other games so that will take a while 
and that pretty much marks everything what I wanted to tell you about this game and I think I'll leave you to the gameplay as always thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye for now